Hello, planet Earth. I'm Eva Tyson, one of the 230 scientists and engineers stationed up here on the Pilgrim. Regular viewers of this live feed will notice I am not in my traditional t-shirt and socks. I am in a spacesuit. And that is because today I am going home. And joining me on that homeward flight is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. Hi. It's actually pretty incredible because we've both been aboard the Pilgrim for three months. But because there are so many people up here studying the anomaly, this is actually the first time that Dr. Tyson and I have met. So, hello, Dr. Tyson. Oh, hello, Dr. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it goes without saying. I'm a specialist in a branch that applies the laws of physics and chemistry to analyze the genesis and demise of various nebulae in the universe. Observable objects, atomic particles, all the way up. Pretty much anything on the candela and thermodynamic temperature scales. It includes aspects of astronomy and cosmology as well, but it's actually more complex than that, so... He's a star expert. <laughs> yeah, you know, using that would save a lot of space on my resume. <laughs> it really would. And for those of you who are new to this, our ship is here to analyze a very special wave of radiation. We're all here just for that. Now, the universe is full of solar radiation, but what makes this radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Masses of energy pouring into the universe from nowhere. So you can see why we're all so fascinated by it. Limitless energy forever. Now, if we look out the window, you should be able to see the shuttle that's coming to pick us up. The Wanderer, named after the poem. The Wanderer returns. And if we link to the pilot's POV camera, you'll get a good view of the entire station, as well as the radiation anomaly behind us. And if we're lucky, we should just be able to see the Big Dipper off to the side, too. Here we go. Wanderer, this is Pilgrim. We're ready for you in the airlock. Please activate your auto-docking sequence. Roger that, Pilgrim. This is Wanderer. Auto-docking sequence engaged. Thank you, Wanderer. You're looking good. Uh, Wanderer, we're having some difficulty syncing with your docking gear. Your guidance system will take care of your side, but I think we're gonna need a second over here. Roger that, Pilgrim. Waiting on you. That's it. Keep it coming. Wait, wait. Sync is still not working. We're gonna try a manual reboot. Stand by. Still nothing. Command, any different on your end? This is Command. Now we got the same reading here. No sync. Go out and fix the docking mechanism. No, no, it's not a big deal. Wanderer, we're in our EMU suits. We can just open the airlock manually and boost over to you. Dr. Tyson, I'd rather do this by the book. This is by the book. Look, we tether to the Pilgrim, boost over to the shuttle, reattach there, release the first tether. It's a simple walk. If we wait to schedule an engineer, we'll be stranded here another week, and the Wanderer will be stuck waiting out there. <clears throat> that is not a useful question here. Well, there are people I want to get home to. So, please. <sighs> Command, does this sit right with you? Tethered walk is okay with us, Dr. Moon. Your call. Okay. Wanderer, please maintain your position to prepare for manual boarding. I guess we're taking a walk. Roger, holding position. Okay. I'm opening the outer hatch. Tethers are attached. Looking good. So your name? It's, uh, seriously Dr. Moon? 
Yeah. But for all the playground teasing, look where I am right now. God. <laughs> look at it. 60 yards out. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell is that? Pilgrim, this is Eva. Are you seeing this? Plus five. Six on. Oh my god. Pilgrim, do you copy? Do you see this? We gotta move. What is it doing? We gotta move now. Wanderer, open your outer airlock. Okay, let's move. Cass, location report, now. Location unknown. Analyzing atmospheric composition. 23% nitrogen. 2% oxygen. 12% helium. Warning, 63% unknown elements. Pilgrim, this is Wander. Come back. I say again, this is Wander Actual. Pilgrim, you copy. Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, this is Wanderer. Do you copy?
Welcome everybody, uh, I am Chewy, and that was the intro to Farpoint. Uh, now that gives you an idea of exactly how we ended up on this godforsaken island together. Uh, now I am just going to do a quick video to see if you guys enjoy it and, and want to see more, but I think that was pretty captivating and I think that was pretty fun to, uh, to watch. Uh, now I am using the move controller for this game, uh, it is basically a dissected DualShock controller and uh, it's been reconfigured into like a rifle sort of style controller. Uh, now as you can see it is a first person shooter, now whatever, whatever I look at you guys will see, uh, so when I move the gun around you guys will see all of that. Now you will notice on my left wrist there I do have a blue gauge and a timer. Uh, the blue gauge is my health, uh, so that depletes as I take damage and regeds uh, over a matter of time. Now you got a little run through back there with the uh, what, what this rifle here is. Uh, now it, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, so with all that being said, let's get on to it. That uh, volcano up there looks really, really cool. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a uh, holographic sight on this weapon. A uh, little dot in the middle there. Uh, now, there is no uh, auto-aim in this. It's all, all about uh, how, what your skill level is and uh, being able to aim straight. Uh, I will just quickly make sure that I am lined up with my, uh, my camera. And I will just quickly reset the tracking just to make sure that it is good. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now this game does have a narrative obviously. Uh, and you guys got to see a little bit just back there. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get on with our little adventure through this uh, desolate right. desert planet. To assist holographic file recovery, please locate and scan all fragments. Press the highlighted button to scan the area. Eva! Eva! Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, stay where you are. I'll find you. Someone there? There you guys have got a uh, little bit of a peek at some of the enemies in this game very, very soon. Ugly little spider bugs. Make 
sure I'm facing my camera. I do that occasionally so I don't get turned around too Guess. much. Log this. Locate and scan all fragments. This place is incredible. You realize that G here is not a constant? You can actually feel the gravitational variances. They must be swaying from eight or nine to like six. What's your suit on those rocks? We don't know what kind of pathogens might exist here. We can't afford a breach. I bet this place isn't even on the star charts. Come on. We have to keep moving. Little uh, holographic uh, memories uh, showing Dr. Moon and Eva uh, and their travels. Uh, we will go just so you guys can see. It's quite an impressive view over here. Now, if I get too close, I can fall off. So, so we won't be doing that. More spider bugs. Now, a little blue dot that you see is when I move a little too fast. Uh, see. Try to be gentle on the uh, the joystick. How'd it go? Shit! Pretty quick, those little things. Shit. I say again, Pilgrim! Pilgrim, can you read me? This is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back! The signal needs more power, even without the dust storm. I'm getting a low-level reading over in that direction. Over there. Could be another survivor. How far? Hard to be sure. Maybe we should stay put. Hey, no, look at me. We have enough emergency rations to get us anywhere the Pilgrim is. We are not staying here. Survivors keep moving, okay? Okay. Let's do it. Yes. Make sure you log all this. Recording.
Another type of enemy. Now, as we play through the game, we do pick up other weapons, and you get a quick run through, uh, holographic run through of what each weapon is and what it does. Uh, so there is actually one coming up right now that I think you guys will be interested in. Move the controller over the ammo to pick it up. Guided rocket. The UEP assault rifle has an integrated guided rocket launcher. Use the targeting laser to guide the rockets to the designated target. The UEP assault rifle can hold a total of five guided rockets. Press the highlighted button to fire the secondary weapon. As the uh, the L1 and L2 buttons are on the front of this controller. Press the highlighted button to fire the secondary weapon. chunk of meat rolling down the hill. Jesus. Partial data recovery complete. New holographic files are available to view. Playback. All recovered files. Is it the Pilgrim? No. No, but it's a piece of it. It's must have broken off from the main station on entry. I guess we found a power source. Hello? Anyone inside? We strip off the casings. We can use these to boost our signal. You prep them. I'll patch into the comms unit. All yours, Dr. Moon. Hey, something weird here. What? These batteries, they're all at 1% power. Well, that's funny. 1% is enough for six months. Yeah, but why are they all depleted? Hello? Alright. Probably a shit ton of EMR out here. How do we contact any of them? Keep trying. Survivors keep moving.
Pilgrim. Pilgrim, this is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. Pilgrim, if you can read us, we don't know our location. We're down to our last emergency rations, but we found a HAB unit. There are extra rations here to keep us going. We're alive. Are you? Please come back. Eva, you need to take a break. We've been going for hours. Here. It's the last one from my suit. Some kind of strawberry goo. When the Pilgrim broke up on entry, it left a trail of debris just like this, right? We found one piece because we're sitting in it. But if we can find the next few pieces, we can calculate the speed and trajectory of the station. We can figure out where the Pilgrim crashed. Are you sure about this? Not very, but that's what we got. We gotta follow the trail of debris. You keep trying the radio. Make sure you keep this door locked. Are we expecting company? Well, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope that was enough of a tease and uh, you guys want to actually see more. So if you do, leave a comment in the comment section and I will see you guys next time.